Right, Archie, today we're going to measure you for your kilt. We need three measurements in the kilt. The waist, your seat... From Dallas, Texas to Aberdeen, the Scotland, the and the chance to wear his very own kilt. So if I just take a natural waist measurement, which is just above your hips. Archie Bennett Jr. has always wanted to wear the traditional tartan, the but with no Scottish sit. clan to just call his own, he's had to do without. All that changed recently when Bennett's genealogist told him he not only has Scottish roots, but his family tree intertwines with that of the king of rock and roll. And my kids and everyone, because we're such big Elvis fans, now they're all jumping on the bandwagon, they all want their kilts, they all want their dresses. Kilt maker Mike King began designing the Presley Tartan two months ago, when word went out that Elvis had come from Scottish stock. King chose an old set or design and changed the colours to reflect northeastern Scotland's bleak weather and drab landscape. This is Presley of Lawn May. This is our roots. And this is where we're at. We're really right in the roots. Archie Bennett is the this first is American customer, but a Presley fan in That's South Africa already has his kilt and orders are picking up. I think it's 34. Sirdar Iqbal Singh believes immigrants should embrace their new cultures, so he designed the Singh Tartan, Asia's first. Lon May sits on a busy trucking route in the heart of Scotland's Presley country. The Hamlet's only hotel will soon be swathed in the Presley Tartan. <laughs> hotel owner Tina Gibbons already plans tartan waistcoats for her waitresses and an Elvis tribute night. It's been an enjoyment at the, t at the time anyway that um, Elvis the King is uh, renowned. All his ancestry leads back to a small village like Lon May. Business is brisk at the eight-room hotel and flocks of Elvis fans could prevent any future economic heartbreak. Tourist bosses are also eyeing up the marketing opportunities in the Elvis link and millions more chasing their Scots heritage. Apparently there's 28 million people who have, um, whose, whose genealogy can be traced back to Scotland. The church where Andrew Presley was married in 1713 is nothing more than a few stones. But Graceland attracts more than a million visitors a year. So perhaps a few of them will think the time is now or never to make the trip to see the grey, blue and yellow of Lawn May for themselves.